Car crash. Hi listeners, welcome back to the Kajalacht podcast, Kajalacht car crash. I'm Dilum. And I'm Sandra. And today we are joined by a special artist that is uh, exhibiting in the exhibition, hopefully soon, and that is Matthias. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. Hi, nice Matthias. You. We're really glad to see you. Me too. Uh, how are you doing? Good, I'm fine. Fine. During Still this uh, lockdown, but I'm fine. I'm, I'm able to, to work a little bit in this studio where you are right now. So, um, yeah. It's quiet, but happily, happily for, 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 for my family, nobody is ill. I hope for other people, just the same. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah, uh, I think that in our uh, uh, neighborhood is also everybody is uh, healthy. So uh, yeah. we hope that this uh, Corona time will be uh, end as uh, soon as possible. Yeah, me too, for sure. I go on a lot of bike rides just to get away from everything for a bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good move. <laughs> and um, so where are you from? Why don't you introduce yourself for a bit? Yeah. So um, I'm uh, a sculptor, an artist sculptor, and uh, I live uh, in Seysele. That is a, a small, t it's actually a part of Damme, uh, but it's very nearby Bruges. So if people oh. recognize Bruges, uh, it's uh, that area, West Flanders. Okay. You don't really have a thick West Flanders accent, I must say. <laughs> yeah, I hear that too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in in my deeper voice, there is a. <laughs> I'm deep in the clay, they say. Yeah, over here. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, so, so your practice is for sure. Yeah. So your practice is uh, making uh, these clay figures. These, I think it's mostly human clay figures. How did that all start out? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, my sculptures look quite traditional. They're made in clay based on armatures. Uh, so the, the big uh, piles, the big uh, uh, things like that are all filled with clay, mm -hmm. uh, like you can see. And I put them on armatures. Normally I base, I, I use uh, pictures of magazines. Sometimes a model comes over if it's a difficult uh, pose. Mm -hmm. And um, I try to, to sculpt it, but it's, it's quite expressive. I don't finish it, uh, uh, the art pieces. Okay, so you start out with this, I think, iron armature yep. and then you play on top of it. So you really do you, start out. Oh yeah, okay. Can you see it? Yeah. It's a, and this this is like a, an, um, uh, a hairdresser's chair, and a figure will come on top of it. Huh? Okay. Like that. Uh, so because um, we were wondering about that because you work, I think, in situ, so you go to specific places and work. Yes. There, yes, yes, uh, because this is what I prefer, yeah. So, you, do you go there starting with an ID, or do you arrive in the space and you start off, start making the armature and then put clay on top of it? Yes, the uh, I prefer to work like that, working in situ. Uh, sometimes, um, if uh, sometimes I also start up figures in my studio. And then, of course, I, I lose this element of, of surprise, which I think is a very important item of being creative. That is visiting the place, looking at the, the, the way how, how, how lights come down. Like here, you see my ceiling um, light. Uh, everything is, 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 is important. You use it. Eh? So I look how small is the corridor where you walk to, how close do you come to the sculpture? Can you touch it? Can you, can you uh, feel it even? Um, that's how I, how, I, how I look at it. So if it is a big space, I adjust my sculpture to be more monumental, to, be, to, to fill the space more. Eh? But if it's small, uh, a smaller, narrow place, 
then I really adjust my sculpture to to the place, to the architecture uh, item. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Because you also like with the exhibition at our place, um, you wanted to come look at the space before you started yeah. making uh, yeah. sculpture, which we find very interesting because uh, maybe there's also this aspect of time link to it because it's you arrive and then you feel the space and then you make yeah during and discovered in a in a moment let's say or in a time frame that you yeah. spend in the space is that something you also focus on or think about yeah um time is a is a very important element because um what what i try to do is use uh, contemporary just normal objects we use in daily life mm -hmm. and i i add it to the the sculpture. Last uh, summer I used plants, uh, I used real groceries, the, 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 um, the, allez, the twinkelwagentje. Eh? Yeah, the shopping the, cart. Uh, the shopping car is there. So uh, uh, a bath, a motorcycle, all these items are very, are very important. They can all uh, have a link to our, our living today. Mm -hmm. Also uh, well, what, yeah, okay. sorry, sorry. Well, what I uh, I recognize uh, the thing that all those things that you just said, like a bath or uh, or a curtain or um, yeah, a swimming pool, uh, they're also uh, very like sim cinematographic or the theatrical uh, aspects um, in your work. Yes. Is, yes. is that something that you focus on or maybe, I don't know, maybe you study uh, some cinematographic things or something like that? Um, no, well, I didn't really study it, but uh, what is, it, it is for sure the case that I try to make it as dramatical as possible. That, that is, I try to use uh, the expression, the drama with clothing and the scenery you use. Uh, and I combine it. It becomes like a, uh, an isolated uh, fragment of life. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but where did you where where do you uh, get uh, the inspiration to do that? Um, is there is there maybe some um, artist that you interested in um, or something like that? Um, well. The the way I work is is really uh, grown very very organical. Uh, I used to make sculptures in fiberglass, mm -hmm. uh, so I have complete groups, so I can show you them a bit later on maybe. And these are made sculpted, very classical sculpted. So I have like um, uh, head on fire, which is three, two elements, two polyester vice, uh, polyester fiberglass figures mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the time you use for making that those sculptures are is huge you you it takes me six months to prepare one big uh, installation of two fiberglass figures with some tiles finished uh, and so on so this is this for me was a, a very big problem because I think your your work you want to show is a is a lot about process time uh, things follow up, ideas will change. Like times, time is changing. Today we live in a in a in a very special time. This has occurred four weeks ago. You you can imagine how 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 things how ideas about even art or living today uh, changes very very rapidly. So um, uh, what I was saying was uh, the the clay figures. Or uh, yeah, or sharp. Can you can you repeat the question? Because now yeah, I I, <laughs> I, I I was asking uh, where did you get the inspiration? Maybe is there uh, is there some um, artist you know that uh, uh, inspire you uh, to do uh, such such things you do? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I I really like artists like uh, Volker de Jong, eh, who's okay. uh, he's Dutch. Uh, he makes a lot of sculptures in foam, which I also do, but a bit different. Uh, but um, uh, I also like uh, Kathy Heck, 
which makes great paintings. Uh, uh, she really, they, they, they both work, uh, they both have links with my work in, in the sense that uh, Volker Jung tries to introduce some history. Uh, so he, he plays with the aspect of, of uh, a big story in the past and he recreates it but in a very contemporary material, isolation and so on. So in Kathy Hex, uh, it, is, it is very much biograph bio uh, biographical, uh, the English yeah, word is correct, uh, but uh, she talks about her own life, who, who she meets, what she's doing. So uh, bo both things are very interesting. Uh, although my work is not directly biographical, mm -hmm. I don't, uh, not so much, no, anyhow. So these are, these are, th there are a lot of artists that, that work really fantastic, really. Uh, I can mention much more artists than that. Uh, I'm really a big fan of uh, Gerard Richter, uh, which is totally yeah, different. We also, we also. <laughs> <laughs> so, so totally different, but I, I really, uh, um, I think it's great how he is, uh, daring to change and uh, work, works and change and, 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 uh, and develops and evolute, makes evolution in his work very much. So, yeah, uh, I think it's also very interesting that you talked about uh, how you used to work with like the fiberglass and it, that it took a long time and then yeah. that you now started working with the clay because it's it's faster moving because yeah. I also recently started making sculptures and uh, what really, I just finished my first one. It's a small like abstract anamorphic kind of sculpture. And what interested me was like, you start with an idea of a composition. Yeah. But then while you're making it and the way the material reacts and forms and sometimes you can't put yeah stuff on top of other stuff because it falls apart and then it was this whole process that was also focused on time to kind of feel what the sculpture wanted to do instead of me trying yeah. to push it in a certain direction yeah 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 it's a, it's it's great it's a it's like a, a tie direct but then in in clay it's a it's a, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a great way of working um if a figure in my case, uh, the hand stands, stands into the side or it hangs. It doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter how, um, how, the, uh, how, how can I say it? it? It matters on the moment, but it doesn't matter in, in, in the general concept. Yeah. So then all, all this area is, is a free time of playing and creating. And that's, that's very much important, much more important than the technical aspect of finishing a sculpture and so on. So I, I try to focus on, on what's the main importance, and that is, that is uh, creating a story uh, for somebody that looks at the sculpture, who, who really sees the, the, the real sculpture. It will only be there during the exhibition and then disappear forever. Mm -hmm. uh, that's also okay. something that we found interesting and that we want to talk about because what happens with the sculptures after the exhibition? So um, uh, they, they really go into the clay, I will show you. So these are, these are elements. Uh, I don't know if I can turn my camera. So, uh, I have not used it oh, yet. Oh yes, yes, here I can. So okay. these, are, these are all my wakes, do you see? So I have a lot oh, of okay. wigs, and I even wow. yes, because what I do, what I do is I, I I use these wigs together with clothing. And here you see the clay. Here you see this can be a part of a body. This can be a part of a head, and so on. So, so I I tear the the clay apart or I break it apart depending on on how long the exhibition was there. So I show you the the space, and. Um, then I turn the camera, yeah, <laughs> like that. And uh, so um, the clay really gets gets used again. So I, I, I have of these barrels, I have uh, six or seven barrels full of clay. So uh, a lot of, a lot of figures. Maybe I should show you this. 
these are here you see so it's, it's like a wasteland you see so these are this is dry clay huh? mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh, I need to break it then it becomes pulverized and it becomes wet water uh, you have a barrel like this you see? okay okay and then with water you have you have good clay after that so you really you reuse all the clay that you used for a sculpture yes most of it if it's not dirty because I'm <laughs> quite selective I don't <laughs> like dirt into the clay <laughs> Uh, the clay needs to be smooth like that. If you can work uh, uh, in a fluid way, it's it's nicer. So, okay. But if you but if you um, exhibit your own work in a gallery, um, how many time you have uh, till your sculpture gets dry? Oh yeah, uh, after one month, it's completely dry. So okay. normally, uh, an exhibition don't doesn't take that long. Mostly three weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I do is I build up the, the, the clay figures and then I completely take it with me. The, it's, it's a bit heavy that it, <laughs> it's 200 two, or, two, or maybe 300 kilos. It depends on, on a male or a female figure. Uh, and then uh, I, need to, I need to put it in a car to, 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 to move it. That's all. I would, I, I would never consider moving <laughs> a 300 <laughs> kilogram sculpture. I would die. Yeah. Yeah, but this is this is uh, co considered uh, um, compared to 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 stone sculptures and so on. This is light. Yeah, this is really, this is not much. If you you need to look at it like that, so it's, uh, a, a pallet here carries a kilo. So if we talk about thousand kilos, then it's heavy, really heavy. So three hundred kilos. Of course, you need machines, but it's okay. <laughs> you really have different concepts of what's heavy. <laughs> because we're like a painting of two by two and we're like this is way too heavy we can't we can't <laughs> move this like <laughs> i have a i have a how do you say it? a convertible car so we transport works by removing the top of the car Great. and then we can put stuff in it we have been <laughs> in some uh, crazy scenarios sandra and i that's great Coming back on the on the conservation or the preservation of the work because you also make now 3d models of your works yeah. So together, of course, uh, if you if you make a sculpture and, and um, you, you you do want to preserve uh, a, a little bit of the idea of what you created. So yeah, I used to make pictures. Uh, I did this. Uh, I do this for for quite a while already. So I, I, I made pictures, and on on a certain moment, I, I changed that. Uh, I, I bought me a scanner from uh, America. And I started scanning the sculptures. Uh, so then I had 3D models, which I turned. I sometimes make movies of it. And since uh, three years, I print them out. So I, I, I have little maquettes of the sculptures. Uh, uh, I, I can show you. I have a few of them here. Uh, but these are the, the printed out. Normally, I make also aluminum parts. Of it, so this is one. It's a, a bit dark on the. But this is a, a sculpture. It's it's a lady standing in a corridor in, in a corner. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, so, I see it. So uh, this is printed. Out. Yeah, it's quite a good one, this I think. Printed. This was the big bath here in the studio, also. So this needs to be removed, even it's not not yet cleaned up. This is uh, the other girl. This one was uh, the apes. Normally, it's a bigger installation, so it's not only this ape. This is only a detail. This is the the shopping uh, ch cart uh, car, uh, and normally there were groceries inside with a lot of apes. Really, six or uh, so. This is the solitaire one, and uh, this one is a. So uh, a few of my uh, previous sculptures were made in in. Uh, kind of cement composite cement and this is one scan of it so but normally the concept is making it from the clay figures and these are the clay figures I even have one more the bath girl this is also a different print uh, so uh, and the, the vacuum cleaner oh my god that's amazing wow uh, that's really amazing <laughs> is that from clay or or not 
No, no. This is made from foam. It's it's really rough sculpture from foam. You see? Okay, cool. I love it. Does it does a, a coating like that. Yeah. And so yeah. this, yeah, this is the other so, part. Of the, these are the sketches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm. I recognize the thing that uh, in uh, that you uh, use. Um, uh, figure of woman in your sculptures more yeah. than yeah. Uh, um, uh, male. Um, yes. Figure. Yes. So, yes. is there uh, an important thing uh, to show the female um, figure, or uh, it's not so important? Um, yeah, it's it, for, normally it's. It, hmm. In comparison, male to female, it's it's like 50-50, I think, what I do. So in the past, okay. I made a lot of male. But I must say the, the, the last works are, are indeed more female. And it, it, it like if you look to, to, my, to my Instagram page or, or, or website, the recent work are female, that you're right. Uh, and this is because um, what I try to do is uh, really work uh, around beauty your contest was about what what is the reaction on beauty mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so and um, this is this is uh, a, a part of it yeah okay so okay. for me for me it, it beauty, uh, female beauty so uh, but the, the the thing is the thing is it's um, it's not only the female that is beauty it is all also the um, the way of working that is beauty uh, so creating in clay a beautiful sculpture. Also, that is a, a concept, in general concept of a romanticized artistical process, uh, which is also aesthetical. You understand? So yeah. when I, what, what, what I do is, is um, when I, I dress up the, the females, I give it a wig, I give them clothing, then suddenly it, be, it becomes less romantical. It even becomes a bit, bit scary and a bit bit strange mm -hmm. and that's a, a little bit the the, the step I, I want to take away from the romantical uh, vision on onto uh, clay work that's it so I, I, I play with this balance a little bit yeah yeah so that's an answer on on female I think so yeah a bit yeah no I understand because well, I'm gay, so I, you would say that I look more towards men for beauty. But then we had uh, two years of model drawing classes, which I was horrible at. Um, and we only got female models that were there nude and that we had to draw. And I was always like, I want a man to draw. I think that would be more interesting for me and blah, blah, blah. And then we had a guy come over twice. And yeah. I, know, I'm, I swore to myself, I would never draw a male nude again because it was <laughs> such, so annoying. I, because I, thought, I always thought like the female models were these smooth lines that you could really yeah. like almost feel and draw while the men were much more like rigid, but at the same time yeah. a bit free flowing and I, I could never figure it out. So I was, since yeah. then I was very convinced of the female beauty all of a sudden. <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, I had a, a different um, thing in my in my um, life or something. Uh, I think uh, when when I was uh, going to model uh, lessons, uh, model drawing, I uh, I've got uh, all the time a man. Um, and even when I started to give uh, model drawing as a teacher. I also had a man as a model, so but but my students uh, told me that they really want to uh, draw a woman because the lines of the body are different and the lines of the body um, make uh, making more like the beauty coming outside because uh, all those models uh, fe uh, uh, male models were like a bit, uh, how to say that, a bit rude uh, in the yeah, line. Yeah, rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a bit rough, you know, in the line uh, of the body. So 
yeah. everybody wanted to uh, paint or draw a, a woman so i really understand your uh vision of um the body of of yeah. you yeah. know and i also but, think yeah, yeah go ahead. Tell, no 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 go ahead dylan tell i also think that it's interesting like taking this and a very good concept of taking this idea of like you have beauty and that's what these clay figures or traditionally like to depict and then you yeah. take them and you do the same but then you have this contrabalance of adding this dirty grungy element to it with the wigs and the clothes and the kind of yeah. kitschy accessories yeah. And it it becomes a bit link eh, to be it's like an artwork but if you're if you're it, it can be very yeah uh, it's a, it, it distracts people uh, you look at it you think oh beauty great and then you suddenly get oh god no no eh? we don't <laughs> it's not real beauty <laughs> that's also yeah. what we wanted to investigate of like what is beauty and Maybe depicting beauty is a bit boring these days just to have like this pretty painting is kind of very superficial. So we yeah. really looked out for things that had different aspects of approaching beauty on a non-traditional Yes, level. that's important, yeah. But not, but, but not all, only uh, the non-traditional um, view of the beauty, no? We had also um, artists, they... Uh, they made drawings of architecture. They are very classical. And this is also one way to look at the beauty. I think that uh, we can't, um, how to say that? I, I think that we can't uh, uh, put uh, the beauty in one uh, word or something, you know? Uh, I think everybody has uh, his own eyes and his yeah. own vision. So you cannot uh, take the beauty from uh, one person uh, yeah. and put your own beauty in his eyes. It's just impossible. So yeah. that's why we were so critic about uh, the thing that uh, our uh, minister said about the beauty. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's a, well, I, I don't want to, talk very very bad about some somebody but you you really need to um, know a bit more of your history art history mm -hmm. history in, in general to to have a vision on, on, on what's the experience of, of beauty so uh, I thought it was um, uh, kort door de bocht yeah. Uh, yeah 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 like, like that like that uh, yeah, yeah. But, but anyhow, it's, it's very. It's, I think it's a great idea to make an exhibition just around that. So to make sure, maybe maybe people don't think about it. Uh, and the minister started something, uh, and you started something. Yeah, actually, I, I'm really glad that minister started something. People yeah. are really they start to uh, think about uh, what is beauty and actually what is art why they are uh, taking 60% uh, of, um, of our money and budget uh, out. Uh, yeah. is, is there something uh, that uh, is telling us that art is not so important anymore? Yeah. Um, I, I also... Yeah. yeah? Yeah, no, no, no you're, you're right. Uh, we, need to, we need to react. So what, what I did is um, uh, I, I sent it this ape I showed you. I sent it one to uh, Minister Jan Bon, eh? yes. and uh, I wrote a text with it, and I, 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 read a, I, I wrote him, um, uh, the Kunstenaar, well, I, now I need to change in English, it's a bit difficult, <laughs> in okay. Dutch. Uh, uh, so so I, wrote, I wrote to him, uh, uh, hier voor jou, dit kunstwerk, eh, dit is omdat we als kunstenaar meer geven dan krijgen. And, this, and that is so, and that, that's the case in, in reality. So we really give, we make, we show our work to people. My, my work is, is made for the people. So it, it has little use of making it only in my studio if people don't see it. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's really the, the idea about it. So uh, showing is, 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 is very important yeah of course i think so that's why this is also 
it to help for young young artists or just artists to show um, the work uh, why is that i think that uh, as much we show as uh, as more people um, uh, get uh, like minimal one percent of culture you know uh, yeah. they see things they see new things uh, even if they don't like uh, one of or another um, art, uh, like contemporary art or figurative things, uh, it, there is there is still uh, learning to see and learning to uh, spread your uh, vision uh, of the world. You know, so yeah. I think uh, showing is uh, indeed very very important yeah. Uh, aspect. Yeah. Yeah. Very much. You're right. Yeah. Do you have any tips for young artists out there who are trying to show their work but are kind of running into a wall of finding a platform? Oh yes, yes, I do have a tip. <laughs> um, what I what I did too much as a as a young artist is uh, I I wanted to create uh, I wanted to have a studio first mm -hmm. of all. Uh -huh. So. Um, I, I really worked hard. I did a lot of projects to earn money to finally now this, this studio I rent, uh, but for quite a substantial amount of money. So uh, to make it able to, to make it dirty uh, and so on. So, but uh, I really lost a lot of time with that. So if for a young artist is um, make your art right away. Don't, don't um, wait. Don't wait. I use your time very good. So don't, um, because it, it yeah. Uh, for my work, like I said, uh, with the fiberglass figures. Uh, so after, after having a studio and doing all these projects year after year, uh, and not, not able to be constantly busy with art, and that's a pity. So that is what young artists should do in my, better than i than i did <laughs> okay I think, I think this is very good uh, thing that you are saying this because i feel as a young artist i feel that i do very um uh minimal uh, of creation uh, in my studio uh, in my studio and my atelier uh why is that because i'm too much into uh, to make a career like uh, I don't know, like a teacher or yeah. to find a yeah. job. You know, uh, uh, if I I start with um, with um, such a silly thing as uh, uh, paying bills of your paint, actually not anymore uh, of your apartment or something like this. So yeah. uh, if I start with that. Uh, it goes uh, around and around and again and again you you this is a very big dilemma eh, for an artist eh? you yeah, need to big... you need to earn money to eat or you need to to pay for a workspace or material and and what yeah. do you do huh? so yeah. for, for me it's just it was just the same dilemma so uh, uh, but it is important to be quite radical and and choose choose a hundred percent for your art what do you think uh, how you get to know that you are a good artist it's all about the intention i think you have if you um it, it doesn't matter if you're abstract or more conceptual or figurative it, it, it this is not um the idea it's 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 in general um the intentions uh, which can all start it it uh, it has to become uh, a very a very direct way a part of yourself which is uh, necessary but also it it doesn't it, we talked about art as being a part of a society uh, much more than being uh, only a way to express your own feelings towards the world it's a bit like that, but it, it's an in-between. So it, it's a difficult, um, yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult to, 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 to give an answer. 
And you, you, I do have my ideas from my perspective, but maybe it's totally, uh, everybody is so different, has a different background, uh, makes other things, has other ways of working. So my, my, my uh, truth, my wisdom is, is maybe only functional for me. <laughs> No, I think I think a lot of um, artists uh, who gonna um, listen to this podcast. I think uh, somebody uh, somehow uh, will find himself in your words. That's uh, that's how it works. I think, for example, I find myself in um, Richter his uh, words. I really uh, find myself in in that. So. Yeah. I uh, I think that this is very good to give some inspiration for for people. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, when you started out, like as a young artist, did you also make the sculptures? Yeah. So uh, not really. Um, uh, the it doesn't work now, uh, but I, I did make. I used to finish. Do, do, I, I I studied in uh, Saint Lucas in Brussels. Uh, oh, us too. So, oh, yeah. So, 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 so <laughs> I fin school. Yeah, I finished. Uh, the, the, my teacher was Kuntinel eh? and Dirk Wouters. These were my teachers, and they they have a, a different kind of way. I finished with abstract works, paintings or sculptures no, or no, sculptures, sculptures. Eh? Okay. Uh, they, they were very tactile. They do have the. The sense of uh, being tactile. That, that's the only thing which rem what remains after all these years. So, but that's yeah. important. You, you, I think if you finish the, the, the St. Lucas or the Academy of, or whatever, or whatever uh, study or no study, uh, but you, you, you should dare to change anyhow. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is what I did. So. Uh, after doing all my projects, I really what I also did is is learn from my projects. I tried to accept work, which I of course I could earn something from, but also I could buy materials, learn techniques, learn intentions, learn uh, presentation, learn whatever. But I, I always thought this will be interesting, and it, it it's true. It it has become like that, but. It took a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, I... So, yeah. No, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, when did you uh, actually realize that you are an artist? Um, quite, well, quite young. Quite, quite young, yes. Um, I think I, I was... Um, 18 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah around 18 years ago. And was how was that? How did you realize that? Um, because you, um, the, uh, the idea of being an artist is to, uh, to, to be free, okay. uh, but be free to, to say whatever you want to say, to uh, react, uh, and, um, yeah i think that's what that that was the start okay. uh, of course there's much to, much more to say after but i i'm, I'm trying to think back in eh? 18 years is quite a long time for me eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> so um yeah yeah but yeah, then uh, you start to realize maybe that like freedom sounds nice but then you see the the double-edged sword of like with freedom comes the prize and yeah, yeah, Did you that's it. Ever get class from um, Hildeman? Ah, okay, yes. Did you that's have my... her as a teacher? Yes, yes, I yeah, did. Yeah, and then love, love the woman to pieces. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I remember the first year that we went to St. Lucas, she told us the first lesson every day you have to wake up as an artist and you have to tell yourself, I am an artist and I'm going to yeah. make art and I'm going to do this. Yeah. Because there's yeah. no one waiting for you out there. There's no one paying you. There's no one paying you in either money or, or interest or time. And you just have to deal with it and just keep telling yourself, I'm going to do this. Because the moment that you wake up and you say, I can't do this anymore, it all stops. Yeah. And then you yeah. realize like, 
being an artist sounds fun and gives a lot of freedom, but at the same time, you have to like live with the fact that you're totally free and that there's no one to say you what to do or how to do it and, and yeah. do it yourself. That's quite a heavy responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's true. It's a, it's not so easy, eh? but it's a, it's a, it's not like you will say. Uh, um, well, it, it's not so easy. Like somebody, if somebody comes along and gives you an order for a sculpture, it's easy. You don't yeah. need to think. You just need to make. It's easy. Making is easy. But when you need to decide about what you're willing to make, that's the difficult part. Eh? Yeah. Uh, that's but that's, very, that's very the cool. most. That's the most fun part <laughs> because it gives you so much possibility. It gives you so much uh, uh, ideas. Yeah, so um, it's great. Mm -hmm. um, maybe to come back to your own work again, a bit more specific. Yeah. Like the spaces you use, are, we noticed that it's not traditional wide cubes. Is that a yeah. Choice? Yes, 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 yes. Well, well the idea is that um, a, a white space, the, the white cube, is not so interesting. For an artist, it's important to be into the society, into be even a, a showroom, a window, a clothing shop would be better than a white space. Mm -hmm. uh, just to be, the idea is to be visual and to be to be seen. So, of course. Oh, a white background gives you. Oh, it's so great! So I show you, I show you my background here. Uh, so it's not white. This this used to be an old uh, a factory, a butter factory. So this was the kitchen. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's uh, all gone now. Yeah, it's all gone. No kitchen anymore. So, but anyhow, you see the 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 faience. Eh? Mm -hmm. So the the, the 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 it's very ugly. But anyhow, it's functional. I, so what I use is this square space, and sometimes it gives you a good idea if you picture it, what the proportions are. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's how it, how it helps me. But anyhow, uh, about this is not a white space, uh, but I, sometimes a white space is handy. Uh, but if you want to show art for people, it doesn't need to be a box to go inside. Uh, you you should be able to see it from the street, mm -hmm. so as real as possible. That's what I mean. Yeah, I also. That's why I also don't quite like exhibiting in a pure white cube, because yeah. if you like, for example, with us, it's in an old garage, and there are these. Yeah, the walls aren't perfect. We made them a bit more uniform now, but you still have like the. The tiles from the roof that are stacked up against one wall, and you ha still have the textures textures of the wall, and you kind yeah. of you feel that the space is alive and that there is a history there, which yeah. is much more interesting to show the work against because you have this relationship almost that is much more interesting than just a yeah. white. And I think also, especially with your sculptures, because they have this dramatic aspect to it and this this aspect of life in it that i think it is really important to to have this interaction with the space that yeah. you work so beautifully with but yeah. also but but also even even uh, uh, when we were looking for a place for you in our uh, uh, exhibition place yeah. we also decided to, uh, to not to show your work uh, near um, white, uh, uh, a white wall. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we yeah. thought, okay, uh, I think we should uh, look for a corner uh, with some uh, interesting uh, no. palettes. Or what we did yeah. was we knew that the that the stacked roof tiles were there, and we were like, okay, so what are we gonna do with this? And then we saw his work, and then we were like. <gasps> Ideal. We have him. We yeah, have him. this is We're ideal. Yes, this is perfect. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it's a, it's a, it's a very it, it depends. I I had two ways of of of, of working. I uh, so I had a, uh, two times in uh, two exhibitions. I used uh, this. I'm, I already told you uh, the toilet, uh, the lavabo. Uh, yeah. I used uh, 
uh, the, the corner. And in another place, I used this bath. Mm -hmm. This one. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, so also, also that's, but this was in a, in a gallery. And this, that was really completely different. So you have the bath. And then surrounding about that, you had, um, how, how, um, yeah, um, parquet. I don't know the English word. Wooden floor. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, uh, it was, it was um, well, an hero warning. So it's totally different. Uh, and it's interesting to see your work work in, in different uh, surroundings. And I must say the best are the best surroundings are there um, or the places where the surrounding helps the drama. So I don't yeah. need to, to make like an island. If I need to make an island, it, 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 it disrupts a little bit the work. So it's, it's nicer if you can make it more fluid altogether in each other. Yeah. That's okay. That's very interesting because w when you see installations in a white cube, I think there's always this a bit problematic because you see where the installation starts and ends and that there's yeah. a border yeah. while when yeah. you that's install a work somewhere else, it free flows more. Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's interesting. The, the way you, you, um, you, you uh, say, use the word border, that's interesting. So, Indeed, if you have, like, especially in my way, if you try to make, a, it's not like an open sculpture. Eh? It's not like elements that you can, that you can spread all around the, 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 the space. You see, every character of an art piece has a different uh, uh, approach. Mm -hmm. So my work really, you know, if it, I like to use light also. It's, it's very important. So... Uh, Natural light is much, much better. So uh, close to a window, I like to work close to a window or, or a way how, how, how light uh, comes inside. And is it a way of like guiding the viewer's eye towards the sculpture or? Yes, 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 yes. That's, it, that's important. So it's also, it is important to, to, to visit the space and to uh, make the road of the, the visitor and see what, what, what will they pass and, and how will they uh, pass by that uh, artwork? Will, will they go through the artwork or will they see it from a distance? Will they come closer or will they be surprised because it's just around the corner? So mm -hmm. it's all, it, everything is possible. So it's not, it, it's not like, it needs to be like that. No, it's not like that. It, 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 but you, you need to, uh, look at every space by new eyes, fresh eyes. No. And uh, your um, material, um, like a bath or a swimming pool, did, do you buy them or do you find no. them? No, I find them. Yeah. And where did you find them? Uh, uh, you just uh, go you, look around in, on, on the streets or maybe you no. have some places? Yeah, uh, I do. <laughs> I have, uh, sometimes I have, this, this gives you interesting stories. Because then I go to the, the container park. Here, here yes. locally, yes. we can take things from the container park. It's not allowed everywhere. Yeah. So <laughs> I do have a very good relationship with, with the container boss, the container park boss. This relationship the, too. <laughs> very important. <laughs> no, because um, uh, last time I asked, I asked I asked him to look for a motorcycle. And then he came off with this idea. A Damn. small motorcycle. <laughs> Not wow, other that's one. very incredible. Eh? So, but it's a nice thing. So I thought, okay, let's try it out. But normally I, I do things on scale one to one. And this, mm -hmm. is, this will be different. So this will be a tryout. Maybe, maybe it will work. Maybe not. Uh, let's see what happens after I scan it and, 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 and then I see uh, what becomes. So you I make a, an experiment from it. <laughs> uh -huh. Because your sculptures used to be, because I saw a couple of bigger, more than life-size sculptures. Yes, 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 yes. yes the, 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 I will show you the, the sculptures which are inside. Uh, 
these are the ones. Ah, you see a toilet. Uh, I, 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 I'm going for uh, an exhibition also in Ostend. I hope it will still occur with this. Uh, uh, I'm going to do something with, uh, and this is the bath after that. I didn't uh, deflate it. So this one, this is Peacock Lady. Uh, and it's, it is made out of cement. You see, but it's, it's quite nice. It's, um, it's colored into the mass and it is sprayed on top. Mm -hmm. I like these colors into sculptures. I, I don't know why, but anyhow, I have a maquette in foam from this. These large sculptures, which are made in uh, met metal and uh, cement. Uh, I first um, sculpt them in foam. In a... Uh, and this is a oh, leaf yeah, coral. This I is indeed a lot, a lot bigger. Eh? Here you can see. Uh, and this one uh, is in uh, fiberglass. That one. Dance. Okay, so they're older sculptures. Yeah, these are older sculptures, yes. And they, they can be go uh, stand outside. Yeah. Okay. So now they're also becoming more real, yeah, let's say realistic, while these have more yeah. fantasy yes. elements to them. That's, that's exactly it. And that's. Um, that's also a choice. I want to make um, much more defi much more defined, much more sure. So, uh, like you see, leaf girl, uh, mm -hmm. I I do want to step away from these kind of sculptures. I do want to uh, show more real life. Uh, so uh, um, less fantasy, for sure, because uh, it's not always necessary. I think. My, my sculptures will uh, get fantasy with my viewer. Yeah. It's much more interesting when that happens than when I put my fantasy into a sculpture. It's, and it's, I think it's still very it's much present because as you say, it's more the audience that has to do the work a bit and, and yeah. can use his own imagination instead of like pointing him directly towards yeah. like, That's it. Uh, That's it. fantasy elements. Yeah. Very much, yeah. Yeah, also when I am uh, painting my, uh, my own paintings, I am really busy met with uh, uh, my own world, you know, uh, like uh, creating a, a big map uh, of my own world uh, because I'm very interested in uh, maps and, and the forms uh, of that. But um, I... I um, uh, try to not to speak too much about all those maps because uh, otherwise I push um, the viewer to think only about that what I am thinking. Yeah. I, I'm it's... like, yeah, I'm like waiting for a reaction of uh, the viewers to look at it and to make maybe um, his own world from from my maps yeah. or something, yeah. or just to see the forms how they are, the colors and so on and so on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a, it's a, it's very interesting. Yeah? People, uh, they 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 can can look at the sculpture and not really recognize it sometimes, and, and then they go uh, really wildly in the in the ideas. It, it's nice. It's nice. Like I will show you one work which is not. Um, but I, I don't have the, the work here, but I give you the, in, the inspiration source. And this is um, the one here. I made a sculpture of a, of a man and it was uh, made a, a monster uh, and the modern Prometheus. And it is not even my title. It is a bit, uh, it's a title based on a book of Mary Shelley and she created uh, Frankenstein. And based <laughs> on, on uh, the book, which is also has a subtitle, and the subtitle is uh, the modern Prometheus, and that's what's very interesting, I think. So, mm -hmm. because uh, if you compare the old uh, Greek story to to uh, a, a modern uh, book, uh, Frankenstein, uh, Frankenstein's monster is is the real title. Uh, so it, it's a it's an interesting idea. Then I thought I I can make. Uh, another variation of my own Prometheus, eh? and also a new Prometheus. That's uh, very interesting. Wow, actually, I, I think this is very uh, strange and interesting because your way of uh, thinking like this is just the same as Dilum uh, thinks because his work is also like that. 
so he's uh, looking oh maybe maybe you should uh, tell a bit more yeah oh, no, no 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 i'm listening now of oh, dilum dilum can tell yeah. Dilum, dilum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah 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 um yeah i started well it's still unfinished to work for i've been working on it for a year now um but like also i'm working with the mythology of prometheus and how he gifted us all these different things of like life and fire and um uh and mortality in the end uh in some mythologies that it's always a poison gift that he gives us and it, it's never that life he wants to do good towards us but that yeah. gift, that life is always a poison gift because uh, yeah, life, yeah. hunger and mortality and pain and suffering and all these kinds of things and then zeus adds on to it with like you're not getting fire i'm getting i'm punishing you with <laughs> pandora and then you get these things of like are we happy to be alive is that really a thing we should be it's all very um yeah maybe a bit melancholical and depressing when i speak about it that way it's no, but it's, it's true it's true the, the the fascinating thing about mary shelley's book was that when I started reading it, totally, it's totally a different experience than looking to the movie. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's boring, it's truly, it's truly uh, painful, because it is, it is always uh, Frankenstein, the doctor, that is complaining. He's complaining from the, really a big part of the book. So it becomes <laughs> like, it becomes like- This is our life. Uh, yeah, it becomes like really uh, the, the painful, uh, experience of Prometheus, which gets he, he gets punished by Zo by Zeus, mm -hmm. uh, and this endless the endless torture uh, endless that he experienced. So th that's what that was really. I thought, oh great! The, in this 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 is very inspiring to make a sculpture with a lot of drama. <laughs> it's also like very funny, or I think it's very interesting that um, Prometheus is. Uh, well, his thing is like foresight, and then you had his brother that was afterthought. So yeah. that Prometheus kept like doing all these things for us with the foresight of what would happen. And then I'm like, wow, that must have been really selfless, knowing that you would have spent eternity getting your liver picked out by an eagle to do all that <laughs> for us. I could not have done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, the, it's, it, it, it is interesting to, to, to have these kind of sources uh, mm -hmm. to get your inspiration from. So this is always, uh, uh, so that's how I try to, to, to not only work around these females, because that was one of your questions. Uh, because uh, I, I do think it's important to, to, to have a different kind of, um, uh, approaches of your own work and that's how I try to, to, to uh, put more influences inside huh? like that okay uh, maybe is there something uh, more you would like to uh, say uh, about your yourself or your work uh, maybe we didn't ask something you would uh, like to tell no, no, no. I think you came, came well prepared, really. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Came, I came well prepared. I was yeah. a bit sick the last couple of days. <laughs> no, the questions were good. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank so, you. Uh, then we would like to close off with uh, one final question that we would like to ask all our, um, all our uh, people on the podcast, and that is to describe your studio at this moment in one sentence. <laughs> in one sentence um, this studio is a big mess with lots of potential <laughs> oh. wow that's cool <laughs> I really very like that this yeah. is very beautiful ending of uh, that podcast <laughs> yeah I love it I love it yeah Good. Okay, great. Thanks for being on the podcast. I really enjoyed uh, our talk. I think it was very insightful. Yes, it was it... also very, uh, very cool to know you better. 
And now we know uh, who uh, will uh, exhibit by uh, our exhibition place. So yes. we can possible. finally get to know our own artist after the exhibition had to start actually. <laughs> so, yes, yeah. it was truly painful to, I, I pointed out I have a big board and I write on it. And, uh, and I really made, give it a color. And I said, oh no, I need to remove it. Uh, this exhibition. <laughs> so I think Not it was really postpone, a, postpone. A, very good, a very good idea to do this. Uh, first of all, to uh, organize the exhibition. Uh, uh, and now to, 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 to look for an alternative like this is great. Okay. We're going to make so it thank work. Thank you very much for inviting me. Okay? Corona is not stopping us. That's not yeah. something that's, it, it, it was not planned. It does not fit into the grand scheme of things. No, no, no. We're, we're going to work around it. <laughs> yes, okay. of course. No. So thank you for being with us. Yes, and no. we hope so to see you um, uh, very soon in our exhibition place. Yes, we're really okay. looking forward to seeing uh, the, yes. or the sculpture at our place. We're really Great. You, saw, you, saw, you saw my, my material standing ready eh, for you. So this is the, the barrel. This is uh, this is what I need. Uh, so okay, that's that's very good. I do great. I do have another idea. So, so the, the the other elements I need to take with me. So yes. Yeah. Okay. Super. We okay. can't wait. Okay. We speak later on. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. bye. Have a bye. Day. Enjoy the sun. You, you too. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye. bye.